Hello there, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Thank God it's Friday. We are back in another speed build. Today, with the Aquatic Dome again, and we are doing a whole bunch of backstage stuff. So, this is actually the third time I'm recording the voiceover to this video, so um, forgive me that the voiceover won't be as long, um, but since we are going to have like a real-time part at the end, um, I hope I'm going to make up for it. Um, I'm quickly just giving you a reason why. So, basically, yesterday in the live stream, my computer crashed, and I don't know exactly what happened, but since then I have a really big issue with it. Um, there seems to be something broke dramatically and I really have to figure out at the weekend what it is. Um, it's very low, uh, very slow right now. It's, um, I don't even know what's going on. Every, every program just lags uh, like hell. Um, Planet Zoo lags like hell. Um, I'm really hoping that the real-time part will look good somehow. Um, uh, otherwise, I'm going to record that on my old computer. It's really weird um, what is going on there. I hope that I'm going to figure out what it is. So also, this is why I'm trying to limit uh, this recording a little bit because I don't have that much time uh, to do it. And um, yeah, so I, I hope that you guys enjoyed this overall aquatic project so far. Please let me know, and this is the task for you today, let me know um, after the real time part what you still see could be fixed and what you would love to see in here as well. I'm giving you a little hint, the next episode is going to be potentially a restaurant um, built at a certain location I'm going to show you on the real time part, so stick with me to find out more about that. Um, but. Other than that, if there's anything missing or you think would fit into this build, let me know. I don't want to make it too long. I want to make sure that we have at least one or two more episodes, but not more than three. That's kind of kind of what I want to do um, as, as like a little outline for the project. So make sure that, you know, whatever you suggest kind of fits into, into the range of this. But yeah, I thought today's episode was rather important for the real-time part because... Um, we, will, we are going to show you a lot what I've done here and why I've done it. So you will see potentially a lot of different things in today's uh, time lapse. But um, they were actually necessary. Um, so yeah, before I leave you alone with the music, let me just quickly say I have a new YouTube channel which is dedicated to a bit more podcast, video cast uh, side of things. More importantly, um, I made this channel to be able to talk about various topics that I don't want to talk about too much on this channel just because it takes a little bit too much away from the gaming thing. Um, so in case you guys are interested in, in stuff like, let's say, digitalization, uh, space travel, uh, psychology, reality perception, uh, things that go way beyond um, the standard stuff and stuff like that, you know, also what I've studied, um, make sure to jump over. The link is in the description down below or to the top right in the little info bubble or just type in Camel Talks and you should be able to find my new channel. I would be more than happy to welcome you over there as well. Um, the content obviously will not be as crazy regular as it is over here um, because um, the videos will need a lot more research and a lot more editing than gaming videos um, and also for you just as a little uh, let's say um, just to calm you down before anything happens um, this is not going to exchange anything or whatever it's just a little creative outlet for me and this channel here will remain the main channel so it's not going to take away any of the content to expect on this channel so don't you worry about this it's just for me a little creative outlet i just feel i need to make sure that i have enough uh, free air to breathe and just do some other stuff you know um to get back to my gaming and do some creative things i will also talk about how creativity works for me uh, on the other channels so in case you guys are interested just jump over leave me leave me a sub there and then you'll able to see in the future anyways that should be it i hope you're going to enjoy the rest of the time it's going to be very interesting um, I'm, I'm i'm quite happy with what i've done uh, in today's build so yeah hope you guys are happy too and i see you after the cut in like six seven minutes in the real time part see you there
Okay, here we are in the real-time part. And today, we are not going to go out of Tejit Cam. Um, the, the, the reason why not is because we are getting a little bit too much into uh, the tour view already. Simply because, um, you know, oh god, who did escape? I never had an escape issue and now all of a sudden I have whatever I'm not you know I'm not taking care of that right now um, yeah we are not going to go into the Tejit cam or in the guest cam because we are already too far into the development and I don't want to take away anything from the greatness of the tour later on um, because this should be something exclusive for you then when it's done but you can see this is um, what we did um, so first of all you can see over here this building is now connected it really looks like an actual scene only it's nothing major um, um, I also forgot to put like a door in here that's still what we need because I figured that could be also like a little storage building maybe they put in some buoys or something in there I don't know or some other crap uh, what you would need over here and just these buildings are like all backstage one thing I also need to do is I need to exchange one of these gates with like a bigger gate because that is realistically where they could also bring the animals in and out I made like a double gate here as well to have like a bit of a better connection because you always have to imagine they need to get here somehow um, and get the animals in I mean over here they have a bit of an easier way to get by this bigger road but we don't really have like an access um, like car access or whatever this is something I have to still do and I'm guessing that this will go down here who knows but this is uh, what I'm planning next thing I did is some implied gates that could slide through you can see here there is like one of those is a bit more opened the other one is just pushed in and they would just slide into the middle same goes from here and then it just closes off and then on this side the same thing happens here so just as a bit of a little bit of more realism aspect um, I think I forgot to do it in this gate as well yeah we still need to do something over here that this can close we don't have it um, but then if we go inside of the dome you can see I changed a few things and you can see a lot of mist happening why, why is this even having mist that makes no sense that makes no sense I need to get rid of the mist effect because the mist effect should actually be only here oh no I did it the wrong way around <laughs> okay whatever um, so this is the um, the new system for the cooling and you can see that there is like um, the cooler up here and then we have some snow burst effects going down so to cool off this entire area and I think this works very neatly um, if we look uh, into the temperature you can definitely see how nice this works so on this side we have it all blue as you can see and on this side we have it all like red and so on and in the middle where the guests are it's more or less okay it's it's like not great but it's more or less okay um, it's a little bit too cold on this side so maybe we can figure out how to solve this um, but that's actually I think it works out very well indeed and we can uh, be happy with this also just did the terrapin did the terrapin uh, moan about the temperature oh yeah they did Let's just change the temperature for this dude real quick. We can we can basically do this um, on here because honestly, since the cooler, uh, let's just push that even higher. I don't know exactly where it goes. I'm just gonna put that. Oh my god, I yeah, I know exactly where it happens, and this is something that can only be solved by Frontier, to be honest. Um, wait, we're just gonna put it here. Let's have a look. 29 degrees is fine. Yes, good. Okay, dangerous animal escape. Are you even kidding me? Yeah, this is exactly the same issue we have, but I'm again, I'm not taking care of that right now. You can see the animals are just like completely ignoring that there is like a wall over here. They just swim through. I've got no freaking idea why, but they just they just completely ignore it. They're just like, yeah, no, there's no wall. I'm just going to go through here. Look, this is this is just ridiculous. Um yeah, whatever. They can obviously then also escape over here. Um I thought about actually making this one habitat, to be honest, but then again, I just, I couldn't care less because these animals would obviously not go together. Um, and this is still a very big bug of the game. I'm really hoping they address this. And so I'm just hoping for the fact that they are going to address this. One thing that is rather cool though, is this gate down here. As you can see, I put down like a door in here and on the other side as well. Um, realistically, this um, would need to have like a very good closing mechanism um, but since this is just a door that goes to one side or the other um, I figured this is like a very clever way for cleaning if you get rid of the water then um, you can actually go through here into the other side so they don't need to drop them down on two sides but there would be one side would be way enough for them to get down 
uh, you know, make sure that everything is going to be cleaned and then uh, they can switch from right to the left side. I think this is very clever and helps um, a lot, I guess. I mean, that's, that's what we do. And then you can see the dome looks a lot more clean now because I got rid of uh, these beams over here and now we have this... Um, I think it's looking even better now without um, this. Let me know in the comments down below if you prefer this as well. But I think I prefer this. The more I look at it, the mist is not that bad. Uh, maybe I'm getting rid of it, but... Um it's actually starting to look like something. Yeah, ob uh, obviously I got rid of the um, airlock over here. Uh, down there, uh, it makes sense, down here. Um, it's definitely, oops, this was not deep enough. Wait, where are we? There we, oh, we are actually in the uh, airlock. So this one over here makes a lot of sense um, because in here we can control the temperature a lot better, but um, up here, it doesn't really make any sense. So up here, it's it's the way it is. Um, it's fine. And yeah. And the last thing I did is I created this netting over here uh, just to make sure that the animals uh, will not be able to jump over. Uh, from the game perspective, they don't. Um, but just realistically, uh, the others could basically climb here and I wanted to avoid them. Or like make sure that they do, do not go over because, um, well, that's not the best idea for them to go over here uh, with the crocodiles. It's rather funny that the crocodile is diving over here. I just still don't believe it is doing it, but it's a, it's okay, it's doing it, I like it. And the other one is just idling around here. Look at that. I have a feeling that this is not an idle position of swimming. For whatever reason, mate, I have a feeling that this is not good. This is not how it should be, right? Let me just plop you down here, baby. This looked, this looked rather wrong, I guess. But yeah, so last episode we've already spent uh, time making sure that this gate works. I explained that a little bit better. Um, and yeah, so we are mostly done with um, the general setup. And I can tell you a bit more about the restaurant. So um, as you have seen, I have put most of the backstage stuff now here. That means we can get rid of all these buildings. And this area is going to be transferred into a restaurant. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is mainly to make sure that people also have a reason to go all the way to the back, even though they don't like these animals as much as the one in the front. Um, I The only thing I still need to figure out is how much I need to take this pathing into like a little garden area to make the guest first of all take this route and then go in here because people will prefer to go that route then to be quicker with the food so i'm thinking about making this like a little bit of a garden course over here um, just to ensure that they are preferring to go into this gate over here who knows i will have to test this at the very end with guests in here um, but yeah, so this is the state of the build right now. Um, there's a penguin over here. Hello, my friend. Um, I have to make sure that this somehow works. This is also why I keep the game mostly on paused. Um, there's another one, another imposter here. There are all the imposters over here. Look at that. I find, I find this rather funny, but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed. I wish all of you a very happy weekend, everyone. Uh, make sure to stay safe, and in case you like the content and you haven't been subscribed yet, um, please do so in order to help me uh, grow further and whatever, you know, just help me uh, in the channel. That is always the easiest way of doing it. It's free, it doesn't cost you any freaking cent, and uh, yeah, that would be nice, I guess. Good. I should end it. <laughs> I should end it now. Have a good time, guys. Stay safe, everyone. And I see you in the next one.